daughter. I'm Maria. And this is Dreamy Travel Story. Dreamy Travel Story. This morning we went to the Brooklyn Botanical Garden and we strolled around for a couple of hours I guess. It's free on Fridays until 12. So from 8 a.m. when they open until 12 it's free to go. Inside is huge, it's really really big. It's really nice because there are different areas so you can see all the different plants that are on the different climates. enjoyed it. It was really really nice. A really nice and different way to spend that Friday morning. So if you like plants or even if you, you know, want to do something a bit different, we really suggest you to go. From Brooklyn to Manhattan. First a quick stop in Union Square. A short walk from there we find this beautiful flower shop where we meet Giorgio's look-alike plant. One vintage shop today that was super nice. It was called uh, Hamlet's Vintage. It's really, really cute. For once, I think there is more men's vintage than uh, women's vintage. Uh, the first part is a lot, a lot, a lot of things for men, and then in the back there is uh, the women's section. So many good things. Definitely, everything is really like handpicked. They have like a section with uh, women's fancy dresses. That is like fantastic. I was like, oh my god, if I was a woman, I would like wear all of that. There's one section with uh, all the big names uh, like uh, Versace, Givenchy, Betsy Johnson. You can't go and hope you will take something for $15. That's not possible. So if you're around, that one is, um, is a place. Uh, definitely for vintage lovers. If you are a Bob Dylan fan, you might recognize John Street. Next stop is Stonewall National Monument. In the summer of 1969, brave individuals from the LGBTQ community stood up against years of oppression at the Stonewall Inn. The Stonewall riots were the symbolic spark that ignited the modern LGBTQ rights movement. West Village is a beautiful area to stroll around. And this made Marion very happy. A Swedish store where she could find her favorite Swedish candy. And what is this? Swedish sweets! There is a sweet shop uh, called the Sockerbeet, which means like sugar bites in English and all the things in that shop are from Sweden so they have the Swedish chicken mix 
we call it last school this they also had a lot of Swedish food and Swedish design this is my favorite is banana boobs banana boobs nothing can beat Svensk last school this <laughs> Magnolia Bakery and I bought this banana pudding. They're supposed to be really good and look at this. I have to say that it's too much cream. It's a lot of cream. I would like to have more bananas. I think the Magnolia Bakery is a bit overrated. Chelsea market is a huge market. There is a place that we have seen also in Brooklyn, which is called Artist and Place, which is a really nice craft market. And apart from that, it's food, full of food and wine. So it's really amazing. So if you're around Chelsea, it's absolutely a place where to go. And it's easy to see that it's getting closer to Halloween here in New York City. Our next stop is the beautiful The Morgan Library and Museum. In 1924, J.P. Morgan Jr. gave his father's extraordinary library to the public. The most influential financer in its country's history, Pierpoint Morgan, was also a collector of art objects, including rare books, manuscripts, drawings, prints, and ancient artifacts. The interior of the building is richly decorated with a rotunda which leads to three public rooms, which were originally Morgan's private study, the librarian's office, and the library itself. The building was designated as New York City Landmark in 1966 and was declared as a National Historic Landmark later the same year. As a visitor, you can have a look into the vault that Morgan had built to house his favorite objects. And we are ending the day in the best way possible, drinking beer at Good Beer. <laughs>